Hello everyone, this is Karel. Welcome to Relax Karel channel. And today we're going to talk about the simple method of doing the metahuman and the third person tutorial. Uh, I did the same thing uh, while we have uh, Unreal Engine early access, uh, but there's a lot of changes, like how do we do retargeting and there's some UI changed. So I'm gonna upgrade the uh, old one to the latest one um, so that we know how to uh, do that on the on the new UE5. All right, so let's get that started. See ya. Alrighty, so let's start and launch Unreal Engine. And over here, right top corner, launch Unreal Engine 5.0.1. Let's click on that. All right, then you should have the project over here and you should be able to press on the third person and then name as you want, third person. Tutorial. Meta human. Okay, I guess mine's too long. My human meta. First person tutorial, how's this? All right, good. So we got this, uh, I'm gonna put on my D drive. So my D drive over here. All right, so I put on my D drive uh, where my normal Unreal Engine project is and then I press create. All right, then now after the loading, uh, you should be able to see this default third person template screen. And the next thing you want to do is you want to also import your MetaHuman. And it should be over here under Windows, go to Quicksort Breach. And then you should be able to see this screen. And after you log in over on the top right corner, um, log in with your account, you should get the section called My MetaHumans. And here's our Monkey King character that we use in multiple projects. And what I want to do next is I want to import it with my highest quality and then press Add. All right, so now I have my character imported to the project. The next thing I want to do is enable all the missing plugin. One, two, three, and then it should ask me to restart, and I'm going to restart now. I'm going to save this. All right, so I have all this. Press update on project file. Turn this off. All right, so now I import my MetaHuman. I got the third person uh, project. The next thing I want to do is want to start get this working. But before that, I want to double check my character. BP Monkey King over here. Um, it should be your character name with the BP over the, over the folder. So we're gonna double click this. And look at the viewport. Nice, all right, I got this character. But as you see, if I don't go closer, the hair will be gone. So what I want to, want to do is go to LOD sync and force LOD to zero. And now I got this. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to map this character to the third person blueprint that we have in this project. So third person, we have blueprint, BP third person character. So we start over here. Um, we had the third person character over here. I want to map this. And I want this mesh to be my monkey king mesh. So now it's using ABP Quincy. 
so how can we do that right so it's really similar to our previous tutorial what I want to do is I want to use this mesh as a base and then map every single thing and then add what we have on for the feet the legs and torso and we're gonna to try to do that now all right so let's do this I'm gonna go over here do this all right All right, so over here, I got this side by side because that would be easier for me to see the uh, structure um, of the parent child. And we need to follow this really straight and and put it over here. So mesh and then skeletal mesh uh, will be mapped with the body. So I want to choose, I want to copy this and then paste this over here. Great. The next thing I want to do is I want this free part that is isolated um, with a weird parent is in the same level. And then I'm going to copy this and then paste it over here. But as you see, the structure is wrong. So I'm going to move it back to the mesh. Good. Next thing I want to do is the face and the hair. So I'm going to do this again, copy and paste. All right. It looks right, but it's wrong. So what you want to do is move this in to the mesh and also fix the hair level. All right, we got this. Double check, everything looks fine. Cool. Then what you don't want to miss is the LD sync over here. Um, copy paste and then you should be able to get it in the fur prince character compile and save all right so the next thing we want to do is as you know metahuman is created by unreal engine their skeleton is actually really really similar um nearly identical uh, with the mannequins itself of course there's some parts that we don't have in mannequin but we could apply uh, we should able to apply the same name and the bones uh, immediately uh, with the mannequin. So let's try that. I'll go put it back here. Full screen. So when we go to here, look into the body, you should be able to see this is the Monkey King body we have. This is the skeletal mesh. What we're going to do is go skeleton, assign skeleton and choose SK mannequin over here. And you should be able to see the target skeleton bone over here. You see a few of them missing, but it doesn't matter. Just press accept, okay. But then we also have the feet, legs, and torso, right? So we want to do all those. A skeleton, assign skeleton, mannequin, accept. And then legs. All right, that's good. And torso. All right, looks good. Cool. Now we assign all the main body parts and you don't need to do anything on the face. All right, so the next thing um, we want to do is save all. When we put the enemy class um, is it was using Quinn? You could choose Quinn. Um, as you see, the body, the body over here, is not following the upper body. So we need to do what we introduced in the part two of the animation tutorial in the past for the Unreal Engine Five preview version. Um, what you need to do is over here, construction script, master pose. I will start with the bottom, so feet. 
and then I will go to the lakes. And then torso. Face. And I'm going to drag the mesh over here. Link it over here as a new master. Let's compile, save again, look at viewport. Okay, so now the body actually followed. But to be honest, uh, my character is a male character. I want the male animation, so I'm going to choose the ABP many. All right. I mean, it's up to you um, in your own interest, but this is what I chose. Cool. So we got this now, and the next thing we want to fix is probably the control rack, but let's see what how 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 would, what will happen without this without the fix. I don't know, maybe it will work. All right, so the body movement looks fine, and let's move. All right, so okay, this is like skating on the floor. Um, we don't want this. All right, so what you want to do next is. We want to fix this ice skating problem. Is we want to go to characters, animations, app many, and then double click on the control rack on the enemy graph over here, and double click this, and we want to choose animation root compile. And now if we run it. Yay! Ta-da! We got this working! Alright, so that's all for today, and have a good one, guys. See ya!